Let's see what happens if I oops start. Okay, it just resets, so You know what, let's try it again and see what kind of thing can happen. My roommate's door, she used to keep it open. Now she's usually closed. I remember that, that dream I had. Okay. So... How many endings can we get? I mean, all I think about is just... Can we- do we have a choice to not meet the person? How many endings? Let's see. Four endings. Hmm. Oh yeah, I could also open her door. But she'll probably be dead, right? Okay. Okay, I guess... Okay, now I think about this. Uh, these are the two endings. It's prob probably... Yeah, it's probably very obvious. So when I, I just focus on talking to this girl, and then instead of calling the police, I um, uh, what do you call it? Instead of calling the police, I go into a room, and then the other one is like if I go into a bathroom and wait, is that right? But when I talk to her, I guess I will talk to her and all the bad choices. So that ending is like, okay, and when she has to go from the bathroom. Okay, so when she has to go to the bathroom, I will text her. Okay. Uh, what's the other one? And three endings, is there? One, two, three, okay, I see. First one is the one we just had to go through. Second one is forgive ending. Oh, so I just have to wait. What? Get the forgive. Okay, so I can't get the forgive ending unless I do it in second playthrough. I've got the hope ending and the missed ending just today. So now I will go through the. I can open the door, I guess. So let's uh, go try open the door this time. Let's just talk to this person. Blah 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 blah. blah. What if I keep working though? I think if I keep working, like, um, I get prompted that she can come in. And I accept. Oh, shit. I can hear talking. I hit oh, Chinese, yeah. Oh, so many is Chinese. Okay, although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Ooh. Thailand, no way, Shimabu. Um, too lazy or too boring. Why? Why Shimabu? Why not something? But did, did I just get stuck? Too lazy, why don't you? Yeah. Her mother's fast, lecturing Chinese, sometimes possible. Yeah. So she's scolding her child. I felt. I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. Okay, right. Um, let's continue talking. Uh, you're not distracting. I'm working on maths right now, but don't worry, you're not distracting me. Maybe a little, but I'm enjoying it. Yawn, time flies. Okay, so let's... Oh. Did I agree to me before? I didn't say that. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Now let's, uh... I can't believe she, like, wished us happy birthday and then killed herself. Bye! <laughs> no. Um... I guess... Was it, was it why? No, I said why. Bye. Wait! 
Dang. She's... Even though she's gonna end her life, she cares about us that much that she wants... Oh god. Of course we're gonna know that she's gonna... Oh, I feel so bad. Hmm. I see this as a farewell. <sighs> Bye. Oof. Okay, now we're gonna let's uh, let time pass by. I wonder if we just end up being early and seeing me. Okay, we all know what it's just like. So let's just um. Amy. I think I'll show that has a crush on Amy. You're cute. Goodbye, kiss. Yes. Oof. That was fast. You're the cutest. No, you. No, you. See you later. See you. I turned my phone off to save battery. Okay. Ah, uh, she said she's scared. <gasps> oh, I see. Now I understand. It's your great friend, it's not your fault. Your fault referred to her committing suicide. Ugh. Pain. That hurts. Okay, let's open the door now. I hope. Wait, what? Huh? I thought we can open the door. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's happening again. Oh, wait. Okay, so this is. I can still do the forgive ending. So now we open the door. Oof, I don't wanna. S I'm scared, guys. Uh, the door felt heavier than usual. I opened the door. I don't want to see blood. Go inside. Oh. <gasps> oh, Jesus, I know this is just an illustration and a cartoon, but oh god. I can see the. Mm, she cut us. Oh, this is not fair. Ah, the smell, the sight, there was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands, I felt, I'm sorry if there's noise in the background, someone's mowing the lawn outside, I felt myself looking down on the scene, myself, her, the police that eventually came, I heard myself scream endlessly. Yeah. <sighs> I keep replaying this moment. May would have forgiven me. Can I forgive myself? Is that the right ending I got? Okay, that is the other ending. It's achievement. And now, the final ending. We save her. But we have a different response in the bathroom. So let's skip on ahead. Come back. She smelled. Mm. Okay. Let's speed things up a bit. Okay, work. Work. Work again. Let me check it out. We can. I guess if you listen, then what I did before. Maybe I can have another dialogue with her. Okay. Can I actually talk to her since the noise quite down? Knock. You gotta save her. Hello, yes. What if I say... Wait, let me just... Can I what? I want to know if I can... Let's say hang out. You okay hang out. And do what? Talk. Take a break. 
Yes, okay, let's skip for it. Life. Let's just talk about everything. Haha, <laughs> still I did like, like your favorite TV show. Don't worry about it. I just like I feel I just feel like I don't make enough time for you. Oh, that's okay. You're not obligated to. Yes, I am. Nah, it's okay. It's a birthday, right? I forgot. You remember? Of course I did. Okay, you know this. Just stare outside. What did we do in the? I think I. We talked. To, we talked. Okay, I'm just gonna do everything in order that I get. We all know how this goes. Not things I'm not enjoying. Okay, things I enjoy. I understand. Okay, what else? Uh, I'll help you. I care about you. Dream. Bedtime stories. I would like her to tell me bedtime stories. What do you dream? People dying. Uh, oh, yeah, the parents. Should we talk about parents? Um. I hope it doesn't change the ending. What was those? No oh yeah, what were those noises about? Hmm. Earlier in your room. Ah, my room. My mom called. Sorry, did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry though. Yeah. She and I. Everything's okay if you two. I don't know. Every time my mom calls, I feel sick, angry. <sighs> want to talk? Do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way? Huh, you sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just want to help you. Did I make her angry? Mm. Yeah, I know. I, I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything, so my parents never pushed me to work hard. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put in effort. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me then, they caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors, oh god, yeah. Writing would never make money. Now, my life is slowly falling apart instead of listening to me and helping me. My parents are yelling at me to, at wasting, for wasting time playing games. Wow, thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks for listening. Writing. Let's tell her about her passion. Harry Potter fanfic. Write more. Yeah, this is a problem. The parents, um, parents want her to be rich and successful in life. Like, if you do what you want and what not you need, you'll be struggling. But I think it's so much more important to live life poor and happy rather than being rich and unhappy. Because you think, oh, I'm not gonna be su surviving in life. But I think it's just about you having faith and finding other ways. Like, at least you're happy, you know, like. Life is so short, and I don't think life is about chasing money, it's about chasing happiness and love. Like, money is never going to bring you happiness, no matter how rich or poor you are. I know so, like, if you think about it, like, I've mentioned this before in the video, I talked about depression after, um, the Life is Strange, what's, um, the, the time, the time, what is it, the, the depressed, the one about depression, right? I forgot what it's called, um, yeah, I forgot. But it's, uh, I was talking about Chloe's, no, Max's depression after sacrificing Arcadia Bay. And like I said, like, if you think about all the suicide cases happening around the world, the drug overdose and alcoholism, it's because it's happening in the first world countries and mostly happening to rich people or people who are middle class living in, well, it's basically living in a, in a, in a, in a rich uh, country or being part of a rich society in, like being feeling helpless actually. I have all this money and I have this fame but there's a lot of pressure from people around me and you know, about money and job and shit and I'm not doing what I like and I feel miserable. Whereas like suicide rates with people who are poor living in third world countries are much poorer because although they are not rich, they live their life um like how do I say like as they go, you know, like enjoying the company of their family and friends and 
just not caring about whether you're successful or not successful like it's such a waste of energy and time thinking so much about money and you just miss all these beautiful moments in life and the people who are poor and happy they don't go through this dilemma whereas us living this first world countries we all go through that especially like in singapore like what may says her parents are chinese and it's kind of a cliche or a stereotype that asian parents are very strict and they want the kids to be doctors and lawyers because if they do art it's not gonna get them a job like you're gonna work in mcdonald's like i mean so what let them go work at mcdonald's while having a side job and hobby of writing and selling commissions that like you're not gonna be rich but you're still gonna survive like i know so many people who work at mcdonald's and still survive but i would be happy to like work part time at like a restaurant or customer service or whatever and on the side do what I love. Like if it's arts or sports, so be it. Like it might not be the top or the best, even if it gets me a bit of money but not sustain me. Like if the McDonald's jobs, it's gonna help me. Like of course everyone would ideally work what they want full time but you can just do things part time. You won't be rich but you can still survive. Like not, you're not gonna get everything in life. Like you won't get money and happiness easily coming by like that's so freaking rare so you gotta pick the middle ground sometimes and sometimes the middle ground the compromise is just enough the parents will go you're not gonna always listen to them like what happens when you go waste your time spending your energy and your happiness on doing what your parents want and then when they die like oh god i wasted all my whole life studying science now i can't do art that's so depressing my parents are dying in in a couple of decades, but you know it's true. Like I sometimes I get attached to my parents, but I'm also thinking like I should never be attached so much. I can love people, but I can never get too attached to anyone or anything because no one is infin infinite. People are gonna hurt me. People are gonna leave me, and some people are just even though they don't hurt or leave me, they're gonna pass away. Anything can happen, and that applies to my parents. Like I might go before my parents. My parents. Most likely it will go before me, but I don't know, you know? <laughs> yeah, that was kind of dickish of me. But you know what I mean. Depressed. Okay, let's talk about the pretend depression. Antidepressants. Uh, suicidal. Uh, see a doctor, therapist, professional help. Uh, I understand. I understand. Okay, uh, professional help. But go bring her to the ends of the earth. Okay. Let time pass. And she leaves and we go to the bathroom. Bathroom. I wonder if... If we just leave her in the bathroom, do we see like, will she still commit suicide? I think she will. I don't know. I can try that again. She doesn't see me at all. I mean, we can't do anything else. Hey, are you okay? Um. Uh, so wait, do I see? Uh, I'll just see. Wait, what? Pick the steps. Um. Uh, let's just see. I'll go. Okay. <laughs> May stared at me as I left lost. I said, what the? I wanted to help her, but how? Shortly after the day, May moved out. Oh man. I haven't heard from her since. Before she left, she written me a note. I was buried in a blizzard. The snow pelted, powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I really cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages and grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. Hmm. Text her, of course. Yeah. So many endings I could have gone through. Hey, wanna catch up sometimes? I wonder whether she's still alive. Oof. Dang. Is she alive? Surviving one night at a time. Hmm. But we don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna go through that again quickly and see. Okay, I'm here again. I'm gonna try forgetting now instead of texting her. Hello. Oh. 
Oh shit, I somehow triggered the... I didn't text, I just kept working. I think I've got to check up on her door. Oh, probably after 9. Why? We saw her in the toilet! Come on, no. Should be a different ending, right? Um, no reason. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday ah. to you. Happy birthday to What? What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In the case, you're also an amazing friend. Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh, I just, I just, okay, somehow I didn't even check. Okay, so what I did was, um, I, instead of, I worked, 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 I think I replied once, and then somehow I triggered to tell her to, like, just have dinner with me. So I guess we just had, like, a not so romantic moment, but just a kind of a friend's moment. But I think she still commits suicide. Come back home, yeah, we know, oop. Uh. Call the police this time. Okay, well, yeah, I messed up again. Oh god, this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think, um, I mean, the rest is not so important. We kind of know what's, what happens next. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I think that's basically four, four endings I got. 